What's up everybody? Welcome to part two of my CES recap series. Out here on the show floor, exploring, talking to exhibitors, checking out cool new mobility tech. If you didn't see part one of the series, you can click the little link right up there to take a look at that. My feet are sore, but my spirits are high. I got my caffeine. We're going to check out Horwin Motorcycles. These guys, uh, they, they brought a bunch of new concept motorcycles that they're showing off here, which are just very cool looking. I mean, you definitely concept. You can tell that uh, these uh, have a long ways to go before they would get to production. Really futuristic. Check out that cockpit. See, it doesn't look too comfy, but uh, you know, prototype. There's uh, another one over here. The Sentimenti X. <laughs> this is just awesome. Check that out. Very uh, Tron light cycle inspired, if you ask me. Now, even though they've got these really you know, fancy looking concepts here, they've got production motorcycles that they are bringing to the United States as well. The Sentimenti Zero is the first one, and this is it. Now this uh, it looks like a, a maxi scooter, but it's really a motorcycle. I mean, check this out. Zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds, 125 mile power top speed. I mean, this thing hauls. You know, this would be a lot of motorcycles off the line, which, you know, all that torque from being electric. And this one looks a lot more refined. I love the, the, the entire setup here. Very, very clean, orange vibes. Let's check this out. Oh yeah, and then you can, uh, looks like you can use it as a mobile power supply too. 2.2 kilowatt hours of external power output. Perfect for camping. You can, you know, pack light, take all your camping gear with you. So yeah, these are uh, available for pre-order now. I think, let's see here. Uh, yeah, $16,800 MSRP. So, you know, not, not too bad for a starting price on those. And, I think this is the same one. Yep, this is the Zero again, just the all black version. Ooh, that's fun. Got the iridescent coloring there on the wheels. Now we are at the VinFast exhibit. Now, this is an automobile manufacturer from Vietnam. They make electric cars over there. They're getting into the US market in a big way. They, one of the things they announced that I'm super excited for is this. The VF3 this is a micro car, miniature electric SUV. This will be the smallest production car in the United States by a pretty good margin. I mean, this thing is tiny. I think it's what, like 125 inches long or so. Just add, add, and look how, how adorable it is. I mean, this thing is just too cute. And you know, it looks like it probably still has a decent amount of space on the inside. You know, that uh, kind of a you know square angular design. You can really fit a lot of stuff in there. So I am super excited about that. I would love to drive one of those. Now, VinFast is not just making cars anymore. They're getting into electric bikes. They've got a few, well, maybe just one model. Let's see, I think it's just one. Uh, yep jump in here so we can get a good look at it. So, you know, they're going with the, the mini bike style, 20 by four inch fat tires. These things are just all the rage now. Everybody's got to have one. Big suspension fork up front, pedaling drivetrain. Even though these are, you know, not super comfy to, to pedal on, they're more fun to ride in kind of a moped mode. This is really clean. You know, for their first pass in an electric bike for the e-bike market in the US, it's, you know, the cabling is integrated so smoothly. That seat looks pretty comfy. Got the Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, nice big headlight. Like, this looks like a, a, a pretty good job. Okay, they got all the specs and stuff on here. 750 watt motor, Ooh, check that out, is a torque sensor, uh, which is, you know, interesting choice on a mini bike style like this. Torque sensor is definitely more fun to ride on than a cadence sensor, but mini bikes just due to the geometry of the frame are not actually that fun to pedal on. So you don't really need the torque sensor, but hey, you know, 
it does, doesn't uh, doesn't hurt to have on there. Let's see what else we can find in here. It weighs 75 pounds, so pretty heavy, but about typical for this style of bike. Okay, yeah, it's got uh, remote locking and a GPS for theft prevention. That's awesome. Over the air updates. So yeah, it looks like the tech on here is a pretty premium stuff as well, which you know is not surprising for Vinfast. They they have a pretty good reputation with the stuff that they're already making uh, back in their home country. How about this one? It's a uh... You know, not uh, not micro for sure, but check out the the, the Spider-Man branding on it. And they've got a pickup truck over here as well, so we might as well take a look. Oh yeah, look at that interior. Here, let's go around here so we can get a closer look. Nice, very very, very futuristic looking. I like the the two-tone coloring in there. And uh, the way the seats kind of fold down up into the interior, that's nice. You can get quite a bit of space, it looks like, if you need to. Uh... So yeah, you can carry cargo longer than the bed itself. Pretty cool design, and look at that. They got the little entertainment screens on the back there for the passengers. Very nice on those long road trips. Check this thing out. This is the Zooks. It is a uh, like an autonomous taxi. Can seat, uh, can seat four people on the inside here, fully self-driving. These things have amazing sensors on them. These are the, the sensor arrays up here. So they have a 360 cameras up there. They've got, you know, LiDAR, infrared. They can see pretty much anything 360 degrees for up to 150 meters, which is crazy impressive. They have four-wheel steering, so all the wheels can turn. I mean, it's, uh, it's just really smooth looking. And so, you know, their idea is that this is kind of the, the autonomous taxi of the future. Hail one of these, takes you where you need to go. Maybe we can get a peek at the inside. It's pretty cool as well. Looks like there's a, a few people in there, so <laughs> we, we might have to wait in line for a minute to be able to do that. I will certainly say this for the CES experience. It is a tremendous workout. I've already gotten in over 14,000 steps for the day, and you know, the day's not even over. I am over in the North Hall now of the main convention center. The, you know, the whole show is in a whole bunch of different places, uh, but there's a lot of you know vehicle and mobility tech over here. I found a new brand to check out here, Phantom. Phantom Go Go, and they seem to have everything from you know, tiny kid scooters to motorcycles. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> Snow sports scooter, that's awesome. We'll definitely have to have to take a look at that. So yeah, they got quite a different range of it. I love this style of scooter. We reviewed one like this recently, the Hypo Ecom 14, seated scooters with the basket on it. There's so much utility. They're more comfortable than a standing scooter. They end up being a lot more stable too. They feel a little more like a bike. You know, you have the bigger diameter wheels on there. So we got some folding, you know, kind of commuter style. Tiny little folder mic too. That's pretty sweet. And uh, uh, this one, you know, most exciting, obviously. Full size electric dirt bike. Look at that bad boy. Oh, beautiful. We've got a uh, big off-road scooter here. The you know, 10 inch, 10 inch by probably about three inch wheels on there. Very similar to the Varla scooter that we reviewed recently couple more commuters and a little, little kids motorcycle check that thing out that looks I saw something eerily similar to this at another booth today the chrome on that is a nice touch dude I'm doing awesome this thing it's pretty neat you that, saw how it works right with the whole switch over of the dirt is it from the one over there it's the same thing same exact oh so okay interesting so you can just swap it comes with the, with the track and then snow melts and you basically swap it that is so fun dude Sweet. Yeah, that looks pretty heavy duty. I've been wanting to try something like this. So I, I, I live out in Colorado. Oh, I do a lot of, you know, mountain sports in the summer. Yeah. So yeah, that, that'd be <laughs> perfect. And it looks really rigid too. Like it you have the dual. And even the battery pack. Dual sim forward. up here. I mean, here's the battery pack. Oh, and it's removable. Yeah, so All right. Gravity, you know, pops on in there. I saw, you know what? I, I mean, I, so I, I've worked with a lot of different review channels and I, reviewed it had to be a knockoff of you guys because it was really crappy but they had the, that same like the locking battery thing this looks like the dialed in version it and is. yeah <laughs> this is this is really cool stuff are you guys already selling these in the u.s market yes we yeah. just started selling them here in the u.s and then costco actually will have them in store as well really so you can go dude 
be right your uh, Costco guarantee. If you don't like it, bring it back. Right? Dude, I like that. Yeah. And it's, I'm assuming it's a dual, is it dual motor in the off-road version or just a single? It's uh, it's the same configuration, so that. Gotcha, okay. What's nice about it is you wear out your, not wear out, but you put the abuse on this track system with this engine. Mm -hmm. Summer comes, you pop it out and you have a fresh, you know, fresh. There you go, yeah. So. Yeah, I guess the, yeah, the motor would have to be unique to each setup. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Big little rotors on there. Have you gotten to ride this one in the snow? Yeah. yeah. So it works really well. Uh -huh. um, I like to tell people, it's like, look, heavy, heavy powder. Mm -hmm. Anything's a lot of work, right? Yeah. Um, this is really great for like people doing the cross country skiing, mm -hmm. ride those same trails, the fat bike tire. Yeah. It, this is perfect for that. Probably a lot more fun, I yeah. bet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, will you tell me a bit about the dirt bike over yeah. here? Yeah, I want to check that out. So that's very. This is actually a, a full dirt bike. It uh, will do 63 miles an hour. Right on. Um, you get uh, to adjust the compression rebound on the front push, you adjust the compression and rebound on the rear shock. Um, you know, disc brake front and rear, good lights. Uh, it runs really, really well. Battery, very powerful. Um, uh, I'm assuming off-road only, right? Probably not street legal? <laughs> state by state. Yeah. You know, some states sense. are pretty pretty easy going, other states uh, are like, absolutely not. Right. <laughs> um, but I mean, this thing absolutely gets after it. Uh, a lot of torque. Um, you can replace the chain, which is nice. You can replace the rear sprocket, which is nice. Right so, on. You know, you can't treat this like your traditional. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the battery is not too hard to get out. No, is that actually, right? You pop the seat up, you pop this up, and you can actually pull the battery That's awesome. Out. Yeah. yeah. If you want to nice try about one of this, these. Is, is like if you have property, your neighbors aren't upset, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it's not. It's very quiet. It's a different thing getting used to. If you grew up riding dirt bikes with gas and uh -huh. I grew up racing it, you're missing the sound, but you figure out. Really Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, all that torque and everything. Oh yeah, they're really torquey. The part I always, like, I love just the, the tactile, like, shifting on regular yeah. motorcycles. That's the, really the only thing I miss. Yeah, um, same <laughs> here. And the power band of a two-stroke. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. But yeah, man, that's super cool. And you guys got kind of the whole line here. You got the e-bikes. E right? uh -huh. so you got someone that wants to spend $400 on a scooter, they can. Mm -hmm. You know, and they can commute that last mile into their office or, you know, downtown and flip downtown. Um, and it's not so expensive where you're heartbroken when you know the day comes when you get a replacement right right yeah um, you're not out of pocket two grand or so an option for that you know we have a cafe cruiser here which is great because on this one in particular should you run out of battery you actually have a rear derailleur and you can pedal it mm -hmm. so you can still get to kind of where you need to go if you yeah um, yeah and i like that <laughs> lights on this headlight one. on there yeah, i gotta do it right Dude, yeah, and yeah. The white frame is powder coated. You have the chrome option. And I, oh, dude, I, I have a four-year-old nephew who's been learning. Well, the best part <laughs> is it sounds like a bike. <laughs> Does it really? Oh, oh man. No, no, no. So you fire it up. It's kind of something funny. <laughs> oh, how about that? Dude, I like that. It sounds good, and then someone can hear you too. And, so. and the nice part is, is like any of the Harley parents are like, ah, this is like a great little thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, found some more fun stuff. <laughs> what is this? A tiny one wheel. It's got some wheels on the front there. Uh, this is like a. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Very strong one wheel vibes. Um, you know, not exactly the same. But uh, you know how one wheel is <laughs> about that stuff. Uh, we got some self-balancing, like the, you know, the more standard self-balancing scooters here. Cool kit stuff. Look at this little machine. <laughs> the chopper vibes on this bad boy. That is very cool. This is cool. What's this one called? It's a motorcycle. Harley Davidson. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Yeah, I love that, man. That's cool. Yeah. And that, um, what, I like these little boards over here. Yeah. They remind me of the one wheels. Uh, yeah, not yeah. Quite. But it's uh, different with one wheel. Because uh -huh. our, our size is smaller, and also we have this uh, protection wheels. Mm -hmm. That's really smart. So yeah. you can't get the nose dive. That's so ingenious, too. Just some wheels on the front. We have the patent on this. Uh -huh. Yeah. You should, yeah. yeah That's a good idea, yeah. 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 And this one, it does it full? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That is so cool. Can I, what's the weight limit on that? Can I stand on that? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. This is the prototype, so it's broken. Oh, gotcha. Uh, here, do you want to hold the camera? Yeah. Did they work like a one wheel list? Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
cute. <laughs> you want to show me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll show you. Let the, let the expert do it. Awesome right, products. Yeah, so you want to show me these? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's look at this. I want, I want the, uh... Okay, thank you, thank you. Look at that, those are adorable. Yes. <laughs> oh, right, right on the bigger one. Uh, that's more my size. Yeah, this is a little, probably a little too small. <laughs> and it's a suitcase too. Yes. Please show me. Yeah. Please. Get candy, <laughs> candies and toys. Oh, dude, that's and awesome. Moms. Yeah, there you go. And for parents, it can take it back on hand. It's power bank, just take it out. Oh, that's the battery? Just, uh, yes, the battery. Wow. And just like a power bank, could charge your phone. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, the USB-C on there. 20 thousand, 20 thousand. All right. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Could take it back <laughs> <laughs> that's that's too cool. So thank you. Press it. <laughs> oh, that's the controls. Yes. Turn left. Turn right. <laughs> okay, we're over at Kugo. Kugu? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> on the pronunciation. Look at this mini electric dirt bike. Massive chain drive there. Oh, dude, this thing looks so much fun. Maybe a little bit small for me, but. I would ride it anyways. It's like the same model here. We got uh, some electric bikes over here. Ooh, full suspension, yeah, check that out. And I like this battery integration here, having that carry handle for it. I've seen that on a few other bikes here. This one's got the cast alloy rims too, so a lot more you know durable strength on there. Got the kids' kick bike. Everybody's doing the kick bike. I think this is just the same one. In the white. And they've got some scooters too. So we got the you know, dual motor, off-road version, dual suspension. Seems like everybody's got to have one of these these days. Oh man, <laughs> this this is more like it. This is the off-road beast. Check this out. It's got the steering damper built in here, so that adds a lot of resistance to that steering column. So you don't get uh, you know death wobbles or speed wobbles when you get going really fast. Really a must if you're going to try to go that fast on a scooter platform. And it looks like we got bigger wheels on here too. These, these look like they're at least 11s and they're pretty wide too. I mean that's a good that's got to be a three inch one on there. The dual beam headlights. That's probably a horn. <laughs> this thing and that deck. I mean look how wide that is. You know I got I got pretty big feet here and I could. I'm not it you know still wider than that got a big foot rail in the back and the the cockpit on this thing really well dialed in i'm not sure what these clamps are for here look at that we got the turbo mode trigger throttle here uh which you know, if you don't like the thumb throttles that can be kind of nice especially on a scooter these do tend to work really well and check it out we got turn signals on here on off i mean this is i assume this is probably the horn we got lights I'm not sure what that one does Pretty solid cockpit though. Again, the, the wide handlebars, really nice. I like how it's got the raised bar too. So there's a lot of room to mount more stuff on here. You know, if you wanted to maybe do your phone or something like that and the integration. Let's see, let's, we're gonna just try and turn it on and see what we can do. Right, let's try this one. Oh, there we go. Ooh, yeah, that's even all lit up on there. Yeah, so I had a feeling it would have the the side lighting. Look how much of it is. So it's got it on the, the stem there, even down here on the, the front fork <laughs> on the side of the deck. So really solid visibility here. Let's we'll, we'll try turning the headlights on too. Oh, that's just all the lights. I wonder. Uh... Whoa. Okay. Look at that. We've got like some flashers up here. Well, I'm not sure how to turn the, the headlights on, but uh, you know, that's okay. Turbo, <laughs> I love that. And then uh, turn signals, they're actually pretty bright too. Nice. 
this yeah. Fast. It's nice that they actually stand out in daylight. I'm, I gotta see if they'll send me one of these to review for sure. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. there we go. Just short press power. <laughs> oh man. That's blinding. I mean, it's bright in here and you can see that on the floor. All right. Clip. Okay, we're at Hyper Go Go. And it's all about the, the kids' bikes and the, uh, the, all of them. Chopper vibes. Look at this. <laughs> it's got it's got it's got misters, you know, fog coming out the back, lights, sound. <laughs> That's super cool. Looks like they've got a few different styles. The chrome. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so definitely going after the like I mean the, you know, the US, the chopper market, you know, everyone loves the Harleys out here. That is super cool. Oh yeah, and this one's like a little kind of the, the off-road. Look at that. We got the rear frame suspension on here. Nice big headlights. Dude, yeah, these are super cool. How, how fast do they go? How fast does this one go? Um, All right. Wow. Yeah. So that's got that's got some pep to it. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. All right. Here is a, another new brand which I walked past yesterday when I didn't have my camera yet. Smiley. So let's check these guys out. Have not heard of this brand yet. Looks like they got both e-bikes and scooters. I like that. That's a huge battery for a small bike there on the top tube. Kind of similar to one I saw earlier where it's a small frame, folding stem, but uh, you know, then the frame itself does not fold down. We've got a couple like city commuters, more uh, mini bike style using that same kind of long, sort of like a squarish battery on there. I really want to look at this uh, folding one in the back here. Is it folding? I don't know. Let's check this out. Yeah, it looks like it is. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, so what, we got like 20 inch by three inch wheels there. Nice, really nimble size. Like, I like the three inch platform quite a lot. Smiley riding. Look how wide those stays are. And look at that, yep. Folding frame on here. Huge backlight, removable battery with the handle. That's a, that's a pretty good setup here. Nice big triple clamp style fork. Really got the, sort of like the, the motorcycle mini bike vibes going on. Four lights on the headlight too. A couple more, uh, another city, like city commuter here and a cargo bike. I like that rack back there. Hi, hi, how are you? Tyson. Hi. Tyson. Great to meet you. Uh, this is a cool bike. Yeah, this is our newest e-bike. Okay. Yes. And this is for the lady and the old people. And then the green one is for the electric cargo. Yeah. I like that you guys have the huge rack included <laughs> on the back there. That's nice. And you got the front basket up there too. Suspension fork. And these are the bigger tires too. I'm yeah. a big fan. The 26 inch yeah. roll a little bit better. Yeah. And that's a folding cargo bike too. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah, you don't you don't see that a whole lot. That's kind of cool. That one is very popular in Europe. Mm -hmm. So that's why we bring the one piece to exhibit in US. I okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you guys are kind of testing the testing the waters over here. Yes, uh -huh. yes, and get the feedback and the ideas from the local people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we come here not only for the business, also uh, can listen to the public. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I, I don't think I've ever seen a folding cargo, <laughs> like long tail cargo. Yes. That's that's pretty yeah, cool. This is our piece. The new and yeah, kind of the mini bike style. Yeah, city bike, very light. Mm -hmm, very mm -hmm. light. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And I, you guys have different batteries than I've seen. Like I like the, the carry case or like handle on that one. Yes. That one's got the, the water bottle tube yes. disguise. Really fun stuff. Yeah. So you guys, um, you, you sell a lot in Europe now is that your main market. Yeah. Yeah. Our main market. So last year we came to the US. Mm -hmm. We want to see how, uh, what kind of uh, new bikes we can do for the American people. Uh -huh. Yeah. So actually for the price, we are very competitive and also we design all the e-bikes for ourselves. Okay. Yeah, right on. Do you guys, um, are you, do you sell direct to consumer or do you go with dealers? Uh, dealers. Dealers, yeah. Dealers. That's uh, always the Chinese company do now, but mm -hmm. uh, recent years, maybe one more Chinese company, they sell to the consumers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now we, we do with the dealers. Yeah. Up next is Navi. They make electric scooters. That's all they do. And they do a pretty good job of it. I've never done an official review on one, but I did, uh, you get to spend some time riding one that a friend had. and. They're you know, really just like smooth, polished. You know, they, they, I mean, honestly, they remind me of the stuff from Yudea, but more affordable, I guess, depending on the model. I think I got you know, a whole bunch of them out here. And the, you know, the theme, if you look at all of them, is that they're 
really the like the efficient city commuter by I me. Mean, they say it right up there, futuristic city commuter. So that's what all of them are geared towards. You know, there's none of the crazy big off-road stuff going on here, which is fine. You know, this I mean, these kinds of scooters have a lot more, you know, just general purpose utility to them. These all look like they're uh, you know, probably reasonably lightweight really skinny decks though like on those ones I, I don't love that but you know i've got big feet these ones over here a little bit bigger decks and these have this this is like a, a polymer shock absorber suspension system and it's really phenomenal like i was surprised by how good it felt um, i've ridden this on a, a navi scooter i've ridden it on some yadea scooters and it you know competes with some like really fancy off-road suspensions so yeah this is a uh, you know, they, they've got this nice, you know, integrated into the stem display, puts the lights up here high on the stem, all the cabling is integrated on here. This one's got a, a little bit different of a frame. It's got these, uh, I don't even know what you would call this design here. It sticks up here. This is a PK 50 watt motor, triple brake system. Uh, let's see, 10 and a half inch tires, so a little bit bigger, that's nice. Automatic sensor controlled headlight, so it must have some light sensing built in up there. This one does not have the integrated display. It actually sticks out right there. Let's fire it up, see what it looks like. Oh, I do like these. Wow, I kind of jumped a little bit. <laughs> uh, I, I like these displays. Very, very easy to see. We can probably quick press on there, turn on the headlight, there we go. That one is not integrated though, which is interesting. So yeah, this is uh, probably one of their newer models, I'm betting. Uh, cause just because it's not quite as cleanly integrated, you know, compared to this. Up next is Yadea. Yadea? Uh, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Maybe someone can <laughs> let me know in the comments. Uh, so these guys, you know, they make scooters, obviously. That's one of the things that they're known for. More in the United States, probably. Really just like efficient, smooth commuting scooters. These ones are the Elite Prime, which I actually reviewed for another channel back in the day. Really just, it, it's a really polished experience. They do really well on safety stuff. Their polymer shock absorbers perform really well. They're not very fast. You know, they're limited to 19 miles per hour. So even though they're have really good acceleration, you know, there's, at least in the US, it's really popular for a, you know, a bit more speed and power. But in other countries, you know, Europe and over in Asia, they sell very well, but they're also, they do so much more than scooters. Uh, they do, uh, you know, e-bikes. They've got a lot of these kind of mini bike style ones here. <laughs> I like the pink, nice. We've got a, a folder, there it is all like, all the way down and compact. A couple of cargo bikes as well. And uh, mopeds, motorcycles, this is something that they sell a lot of in Asian markets. And look at that thing. That is just clean, it's sleek. Then you go for a little bit more, uh, you know, efficient utility, you know, city commuting kind of a stuff. You got the electric moped. I assume there's probably some, you know, storage under the seat there. They're usually pretty good about, like, doing the swappable batteries. Look at the display on that thing. Like, that's... Pretty big old screen on there. We got a you know the whole the whole lineup over here. Kemper, this is their uh, newer one here. Okay, we got uh, AI backpacks. You control it with the app here. Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, Alright. Yeah, it's this one. Look at that! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it has some personality. Look at that, those ones are like animated, smart video stuff. That's super cool. Yeah, how, how much do these cost? Uh, retail is 100 for retail and uh, wholesale, different price. Gotcha, gotcha. 100 for retail is really not that bad for something that, especially that you can program that easily. That's cool, that's cool.